Hi. Hi, it's my daughter. Hi, Hi. Hi. Nice how are you doing? You. Hi, nice, nice to meet you. Meet you. The adopters, we have coming today a young married couple. Anthony and Melissa have a special need. So yeah, well, let's go sit down then. Absolutely. <laughs> Anthony has cancer, and he's looking for a companion to help keep him going. Tell me a little about the situation. I know you're interested in one of the puppies. We're trying to adopt a puppy because my condition, having cancer and everything, I was doing MMA cage fighting last year. During the MMA cage fight, first hit, it dropped me. The ref calls a fight because I'm just getting drilled and my legs flopping around. Like, I, I realized I, I could not function my lower half of my right leg. Went to the hospital. They decided to do a CT scan. They come back into my room and he tells me, you have a tumor in your brain. We're not going to have back surgery. We're going to have brain surgery. I have a scar all the way across my head. I did the radiation. It was a lemon-sized tumor. What is the situation with it? Uh, terminal. It's uh, stage four, uh, grade three. They gave me five years to live. Wow. I'm a fighter. Yeah. You know, but then again, I do have it, and it's there. And it brings me down to a dark place, and that's what's hard. But I can't even pull him out of it. You know, there's just nothing that can. After surgery, Anthony was really depressed. He didn't do a lot of things. He couldn't do a lot of things. We didn't even talk to each other sometimes. Like, he just would kind of be there, but not really there. Then Anthony's doctor had suggested that he get a dog. Right after my brain surgery, I got him for a rehab dog. Our neighbor had some puppies, and immediately after Anthony had seen the dog, it was like a complete change in his whole attitude. As soon as I seen him, I was like, uh -huh. Tiba. He was stuck by my side through the whole thing, you know? He was my little buddy. I had all this dark, gloomy, black cloud over my head, but I was still happy, like the sun was shining right on me. He just had that effect. Like, he was our baby, you know? Yeah, we didn't, we didn't treat we him like kids, a kid. So we have, yeah, he was our he kid. He was our kid, yeah. you know? Oh, so what, then what happened to him? Well, three weeks ago, we hear a gunshot, and didn't think nothing of it. About 45 minutes later, there's commotion on the side of my house. Oh, so I go, I go to the door, and there's police coming in my gate. And I got Chiba in my left hand. Well, I, I walk with the cane, so as soon as I opened up my door, Chiba went outside. I fell, and yeah. I heard the first shot. And I see blood pouring out his... I'm screaming, please don't shoot my dog. Please don't shoot my dog. And I hear a gunshot. And he tried to run back to me, but Chiba was hit in the heart. You know, this poor kid had to sit there and watch his dog die, you know, caused by just a horrible mistake. Unfortunately, this happens more than one would like to think. You know, someone sees a pit bull running at them, and a reflex is caused by fear, just takes over. And in this case, Anthony's heart was ripped out of his chest. <laughs> 